I love you all, and um, nothing's going to stop that love. Even you saying, no, I don't want your love, please get off of me. It's just going to happen. you got to lay back and take it. Ah. Elix, it's a difficult game that people don't know how to play. The combat is clunky as shit. The game is not hard. What in the goddamn? And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Man, fucking Magalan was great until they tried to join NATO. That was the beginning of the end, man. Hey! You know what else might die? Me, if you don't give me money. So go to my Patreon and give me more money so I can afford more Coney Island hot dogs from Sonic. Mmm. It's just what my fat ass needs. Maybe subscribe to this channel. Maybe give it a like. Maybe, you know, do that comment thing that YouTube keeps bitching about because you, you don't want to go too long without getting a little bit of engagement for your channel. Go to the description. Go to my other channels. Give me a subscription there. And if you don't know about my main channel, then I don't know what the fuck you're doing here. How did you find me? I want to look at our controls here because... Uh, you know what I mean? It's like they give you just enough options to not have enough options. Uh, you could set your camera speed, right? But what they don't tell you is that the fucking camera speed for left and right goes at one rate, and the, the rate for up and down goes an entirely different rate. So you really needed a fucking slider for each axis, man. No matter what you do, you'll never get it right. Piranha Bytes is always just super bad at things that are the most important in the game. Like the combat, like... The combat has only gotten slightly better since Gothic. Since Gothic. They're the worst because they could turn around on a dime and hit you. No. Go on. There you go. Good boy. Come on. Oh my god. Enough with the fucking tutorial screen, sir. Please. Yeah, Elix is pretty good, man. I liked it a lot when I played it. But I think that's just because I'm used to these uh, shitty Piranha Bytes games. I'm used to all of the, the terrible mechanics. And it's always funny to me to see a review on a Piranha Bytes game. Like, I, re I remember the first review I ever saw of uh, Angry Joe's was a review on Risen. And he was just losing his shit over to combat. Oh, fuck, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Oh! Oh, and you just turn around in half a second to fucking into- And you jump forward like a fucking- What the fuck? You're fucking bullshit! These are your fucking starting enemies. You see how his name is Red? Uh, no. Don't start your games like this! I can feel your anger. Do not come. And I was just sitting here thinking the whole time. It's like, oh yeah, that just seems like Gothic 3. <laughs> Get good, loser. Oh, are you getting stun-locked to death by a wolf? Don't get hit, dummy. Twelve seconds later. I'm fumbling around trying to find the buttons on a controller. Get the fuck out of here. People don't realize this, but the gothic community was actually the Dark Souls community before Dark Souls was a game. All I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? He sounds like a uh, voice actor on a uh, teen movie about guys going across country to get laid. Johnny was a big old pussy who couldn't get laid to save his life. But when one girl says she's gonna lay him, he's gotta go across the country to find out. What could possibly go wrong? They call me the rat deboner. Because I'd be deboning these rats. Hey, Vinny, why does he do that shit to the rats, man? That's kind of weird, don't you think? Yeah, he's a weird guy. He likes to debone rats. What can I say, you know? Every man's got his hobbies. Uh, alright. I mean, this guy looks like he could kill somebody with just this fucking eyebrow ridge. Look at this dude's eyebrows, man. Look, they're so heavy, he can't even keep his eyes open and shit. Like, they're just, like, they're, like, weighing him down. You know? <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, his eyebrows alone keep him from being able to swim. They're huge! Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. If it's so dangerous here, why do y'all keep staying here? I'd move. 
I'd move very far away from all this shit. My neighbors was playing their music loud, and I was like, I don't want to live here anymore. I can't imagine living in a place like this. I, I'd fucking move immediately, man. Like I said, I, I, I can't stand it when my, my neighbors are mildly inconveniencing. Why haven't you joined a faction? I just fucking got here, man. Why, why are you asking me all these fucking questions? I, like, the only option I have is, no, I don't want to join a faction. Stop questioning me about my business or I'll get angry. Oh, wow, okay. I cannot decide whether to join a faction. I don't understand. So I could say, I'm going to get angry if you keep fucking asking me questions. Or I could say, I have no interest. And it'll, it'll increase my cold if I say I have no interest. But what does the other option do? Does it? I gotta find out now. Stop questioning me about my a business while I get angry. I cannot decide. Doris doesn't like that, but it decreases my cold. I don't under. Okay, it's like I understand that when I get emotional, my cold decreases. I get that. Don't start your games like this. But there's something I just don't like about the lack of a third fucking option. Obvious third option would be to maybe I don't know allow me to just say you know I'll think about it. Stop putting me on the spot. I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. Don't need to lock me into. A dialogue choice that'll increase my cold or decrease my cold for completely arbitrary seeming reasons. Don't need to do that. You could have just given me a third option and everything would have been fine. Like, I understand that you want my, my stats to go up and down. I understand that you want my cold to either decrease or increase and, like, my standing with people to increase or decrease depending on the shit that I say. Me saying something that's neutral is basically me not getting a chance to make a stat go up or down. That is also a tough choice. You get what I'm saying? Hey, asshole, Durris, you gonna help? I guess Durris is just gonna fucking stand there like a dickhead. <laughs> Oh, oh, now you pull your weapon out. Thanks, Durus. You're a fucking lifesaver. Hey, we did it. I didn't die. How do you like that? That's very... It's surprising even to me. Alright, we found all of this shit. We can go now, Durus. You big useless fuck. You see, I thought he was gonna actually come in here and do shit, but apparently no. Man, why doesn't anybody like the Albs? They like the, uh, the incels of the, uh... Elix world. They kind of are, aren't they, now that I think about it. Pale white dudes with bald heads who don't have any emotions and who shoot people indiscriminately. I mean, fuck, they kind of fit the whole description. I'm sure they don't get pussy either. It's a little weird that they chose to look at his ass like dead on like that. No normally you choose like a three-fourths camera angle or something. Some, some, some camera angle where the dude's not looking you directly in your fucking eyeballs, but... It's like uh, Wasteland 3 did that, and it was unsettling, but they only did it in certain conversations where it's supposed to sort of be unsettling. No one's coming to save me. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. So, are you an emissary? Hey, man, I'm like an Alb defector, man. I, you know, they were talking about uh, going out and uh, shooting up a fucking feminist rally, so I was like, I gotta leave. You guys are crazy. <clears throat> These guys are gross. They're always like blowing their fucking nose out their nostrils. It's like these guys never heard of napkins. Did it again. Dude! Man. Is that the way they greet people in this game? They just... Listen! It's just constant. Just blowing the fucking... Ew, man. It's gross. I think we've all met a guy who does that. You know, that's how he, how he fucking like blows his nose. Is he just fucking one, one nostrils it just into the air. And somehow never manages to get any all over his lips. Because, like, when we try it, you know, it just... It's all over our lips, our chin, just all over our fucking face. Wind blows it into our eyes. And we never try it again. It's driving me crazy! I'm hearing it constantly. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> My dude has some bumpy ass skin. He's either got bumpy fucking skin or he's got pores that you could stick nickels into. Look, look at look at the size of this dude's pores. He could jump into a lake and hydrate himself. I'm surprised that he just doesn't actually just bleed out of his pores. I mean, goddamn. Hey, how you doing, girl? 
You, you know what games need? They need a dedicated slap button so that you could slap women's asses. You know what I mean? Just so you can roleplay as a sexual harasser. Uh, a Harvey Weinstein type. And while I'm at it, I feel like you should have a at-will masturbate button. So, you know, you can go up to ladies and just start jerking off in front of them. I mean, it's a feature that a lot of games just kind of miss. They don't even think about it, honestly. And, I mean, you know, I feel like they're leaving out a whole big segment of the population here with that. They're alienating people, quite frankly. Honestly, I think it would be really well received. I don't know. I feel like they're just... They're just passing up opportunities, man. It could be like a role-playing game. It could be like a, like a leisure suit, leisure suit Larry kind of game. But like you, you have to you have to walk around the world and find the girls who want you to jerk off in front of them. It'd be like Minesweeper, but with like jerking off. You'd better not try anything. See, and when she says that, what you do is. You take the skin on your balls and you pull it apart, right? And you try to get her to look at it. And I know I can stop. Did you hear that fucking board squeak in your ear as well? Cause god damn, it was loud as shit in my ear. That shit sounded like somebody had my head jammed against the floorboard as they walked around me. Holy fuck. The mixing in this game is schizophrenic. <laughs> it's absolutely schizophrenic. Stop messing around with that technology, lady. Did he just say lady? Did she say lady to me? I'm not a lady. Who the fuck you think I am? Jada Pinkett? Now y'all just gotta insert a meme of Will Smith smacking me in the face, telling me to keep his wife's name out of her mouth. Somebody need to tell Jada Pinkett to keep other dudes' dicks out of her mouth. Wow!